Hello everyone. Uh, I'm audible. Uh, please do respond in the chat box. Okay. Uh, I think today you can use uh, chat box, chat box as well as uh, Q and A. Both a anything is fine. Uh, guys, please do check uh, whether you can access chat box. Uh, chat box. Okay, great. Uh, I think better you can uh, uh, text in the chat box. Uh, today happens to be the HTML. Uh, if I'm not wrong, it is uh, session number three. Correct, right? HTML session number three. Okay, great. Let me just do one thing. Let me just uh, share you the screen. Okay, uh, I hope uh, you people are able to see the screen. Let me just open the folder of uh, front-end technologies and uh, okay. Uh, my first question for everyone, have you downloaded Sublime Text? Yes or no in the chat box? Have you downloaded Sublime Text? Uh, if not, please download Sublime Text. I think in the previous session, I have clearly told uh, how to download Sublime Text, all those things. Okay. Uh, today happens to be the session number three or day three. Okay, already I have told uh, what exactly I'll be discussing in today's class. Okay, mm, before this, I just want to quickly recap whatever I have taught in the yesterday's session. That is uh, session number two. Uh, is there anyone who is attending uh, today as your first class? Uh, respond three in the chat box so that I will understand today is your first day. Respond three, number three or T H R W, -E, whatever it may be. Okay, I can see many of them. Okay. Okay, great. Uh, whatever the classes that you have missed, please do ping me in WhatsApp. I'll just uh, send you the recorded video of day one as well as day two. You can just go through that. Uh, yesterday, I have just started off with HTML and I have just told what is HTML and uh, what is the history of HTML. Uh, could you people please tell me who invented HTML? Type in the chat box, chat box or Q and A, whatever. It be. Ultimately, I just want you people to type that. Uh, guys, already I have told, please don't type uh, the short, short name, Tim, Tim and all. Please type completely. If you want the spelling, here only it is there. See here? Tim Berners Lee. Fine. In the year 1991, he invented HTML and the latest version of HTML happens to be HTML 5.0 and HTML 4.0 is also being used in the industry according to the project requirement. And when it comes to editor, the editor means if you want to type the HTML code and uh, execute that, uh, we can just use Notepad++, we can just use Sublime Text, whatever you want, guys. We can use uh, Visual Studio, whatever you want, you can use. Fine. I'll just say etc. But ultimately, personally, I like Sublime Text. Why? Because it's a lightweight software. I think already you have seen it's around some 20 MB file. That's the reason I recommend uh, uh, for the students to use Sublime Text. Please install Sublime Text. Pretty simple. Go to the website. Click on download section. It will be downloaded. Click on install. Next, next, next. That's it. Job done. And every HTML page consisting of how many parts? You take any HTML page. How many parts will be there? Very good. Two parts will be there. Header section or head part, body part or body section. Fine. In the head section, we have to write the title, keywords, all those information, as well as uh, some CSS related, JavaScript related information. Some file specific information has to be written within the head section. Body section, the actual content. And whenever you want to save a file as a HTML file, then you have to save that file with the extension .html. For example, you can just give any name when I mean, there is no rules and regulation. You can just give any name. You can just use numbers as well. Demo one, demo two, uh, yes, one Sandesh, yes, two Sandesh, something like that. You can just use no issues, but ultimately the extension should be dot HTML. And I have just told the general syntax of HTML file. Doc type HTML, HTML tag, closure of HTML. Sir, this particular doc type you have opened but you haven't closed first of all this doc type is not at all a tag it's just a information 
Plus, if it is a tag, if you open that compulsory as a programmer, as a developer, we have to close that. That is the reason HTML has been opened. It has been closed. Body, it has been opened. It has been closed. Hit tag open close. Fine. Next, a simple example is what I have taken. Example number one and example number two I have taken. Uh, could people take your time for 10 seconds or 20 seconds? Type how to comment in HTML. Press shortcut and all, I'll teach you. When it comes to editor, if you write something, if you press something automatically, it will be commented. Shortcut, I'll teach you. Don't worry about that. But as of now, what is the comment or commenting process of HTML? Very good. Very good. I don't think this is how we should comment in HTML, this particular symbol. In case of maybe if you are aware of Python, this is how we will comment in Python. This is how we will comment in Java. Similarly, this is how we will comment in HTML. Okay, that's what I have discussed on day two. Now, let me just do one thing. Let me just open day three. Okay. Nice. Every day, starting five minutes, not more than that, from today onwards, I will be recapping whatever I have done in the previous session. Why, sir? Don't you think it will be helpful for you people? If you have attended the class, then easily you can revise. If not, you will get to know what has been done in the previous session. Okay, uh, observe properly. The next topic happens to be terminologies involved in or terminologies involved in the HTML file. If you consider any HTML file, some of the terminologies are there. Uh, sir, which are those terminologies, sir? I'll just tell the basic construction of an HTML page. Under that, I would like to write the subheading. I would like to write the subheading. Subheading happens to be basic construction of an HTML. Already in the yesterday's session, you have seen. Don't you think like this I have written? Yes or no? Yes, please do respond. Like this I have written. Sir, what is this, sir? Uh, in short, if I have to tell, it is just a normal tag. Fine, it's a normal tag. It's not a pure HTML tag Why? because uh, ultimately if something has been enclosed within Angular braces, then we'll call it as tag, but you can just tell it, it just specifies the language you will write on the page. Fine. What kind of language you will write? For example, if you want to write HTML5, but right now we are using HTML5, that is what it will specify. See, yeah? this specifies, this specifies the language, the language you will write on the page. That means if you create one file, what you will write inside the file is what these things will denote or it indicates. Okay, sir. Next what? Uh, if you consider HTML, I think uh, like this also I have taken in the class here, this particular tag signals or it will inform that from here onwards, we are going to write the HTML code. That's it. Is that clear guys? This particular HTML tag, ultimately this tag has to be closed. That is secondary. But if you use this tag, it will signal us that we have to write or we will be writing the HTML code. Guys, you'll be learning in detail. This is just a, a basic line that I'm giving. Next, head tag is there, body tag is there. Okay, sir, why we have to use uh, head tag, sir, if you ask me. Inside the head tag, all the metadata information will be mentioned. Why, if you ask me, most of the search engines, what is search engine, what is SEO in the upcoming classes, you will understand. In order to make sure that the search engine will search this particular header part, they'll be using. That is the reason we have to mention all the information inside the head. See here, this is where all the metadata for the pages goes. That means we'll be writing that uh, stuff mostly meant for search engines or other computer programs. Maybe if you want to mention uh, some of the other computer programs like JavaScript, or whatever, maybe you can just mention there. Similarly, when it comes to body section, it is just uh, a content where exactly all the content will be there. This is a basic construction and this basic construction. Next, I have just written some lines so that you'll be able to understand. Now, next what, sir? Next title as well as meta tag. This is also very important. Okay, sir, why you will be using title, sir? Uh, observe, here is where we can insert the page name. We can give the page name. Ultimately, I have given the file name as date3.txt. Like that, if you want to give the name for a file, whatever the HTML file that you're going to keep. Guys, no one I'm telling you, you might have saved the file as example number one dot HTML. This is a file name, but what should the name it should denote whenever this particular file is being opened in the browser that has to be written within title tag. 
and when it comes to meta here all the information will be written like character encoding decoding some description all those things will be written and now i'll teach in detail so that you'll be able to understand observe properly now one by one i will take first one okay sir what is the first one sir doc type html doc type html now many of them might be having this doubt sir what's doubt sir sir is it uh, compulsory to use uh, lower case upper case something like that sir in whichever the case you want you can write is that clear please do respond in whichever the case you want you can write it might be upper case lower case whatever it may be you can just write okay that means that means observe observe the doc type declaration is not case sensitive that should be your first point at the back of your mind uh, you can consider upper case lower case so you are like like this you can just consider it's purely up to you see here a d capital t capital everything is in the small letter a d capital everything is in the smaller letter and here everything goes in the lower case like that you can just consider it's purely up to you wish it is not case sensitive is that clear guys uh, next word sir uh, observe properly observe doc type html is a declaration basically what is doc type declaration if somebody is asking fine at that point of time guys i'll tell you 100% i'll tell you is that compulsory or not without doc type can we create a html file everything i'll tell you but uh, you should be having some amount of patience for that i know already in your uh, uh, engineering you might have learned half boiled knowledge of html okay but here i'll be teaching in detail <laughs> listen doc type html is a declaration that tells the browser what version of html document is written in fine in which version the particular html is written will be declared there and this should be the or this appears as the first line or very first line in a html file is that clear and all the html document should start with doc type if you don't write that also no need to worry automatically in the background it will be there is that clear uh, observe properly whatever the point that i told same point i'll be writing here doc type html is a declaration that tells the browser it is very important that tells the browser what version of html the document is written next this declaration appears as the very first line in the html file and all the html document will be starting with doc type and it is not compulsory this thing should be there at the back of your mind is that clear and this declaration is not a html tag please have these things at the back of your mind that means whatever the declaration that you are doing it's just a declaration it's not a tag fine the the declaration is this declaration or this declaration is not an html tag it's an information to the browser about what document type to expect you can expect html file something like that we will be telling that's it it is not a tag okay next what sir maybe in whichever the case you want you can just write this is a quick introduction about doc type is that clear for everyone is that clear for everyone okay great uh, you have learned about doc type second second one html tag second one html tag html tag after html tag head tag will come after html tag head tag will come i think here only i have written yeah after html tag head tag will come after head tag body tag will come later title tag all those things will come maybe one by one i'll discuss when it comes to html tag when it comes to html tag please listen properly so that uh, you'll be able to understand this particular html tag represents the root of an html document root means the base the foundation fine the html tag represents the root of a html document and the html tag whatever you want to write is or it will be acting like a container or html tag is a container for all the other html elements it might be anything it might be anything apart from doc type apart from doc type is it fine whatever the doc type that you have done apart from that it will hold every html elements that will be coming in the later stage this tag signals that from here on we'll be writing the html code is it fine i hope everybody understood what is html tag only three points that's it not more than three points here the html tag represents the root of a html document the html tag is a container container means a box fine for all the other html elements apart from doc type whatever i have explained just now 
and this will signal that means this particular tag signals that from here on we will be writing the html code is that clear guys okay one person is asking in the chat box sir why can't you type everything in the class uh, guys you tell me you tell me uh, it doesn't mean that i don't know how to type fine <laughs> i can type i can tell the html fine i can just tell the html tag represents like this i can type i'm having a, a not too fast typing speed a moderate amount of typing speed is what i'm having but don't you think it will waste your time yes or no please do respond 100 percent it will waste your time uh, guys for your kind information for the people who are attending the session this is not the first online batch that i'm taking fine uh, this is not the first batch that i'm taking and uh, you people are not the first set of students that i'm interacting in my life uh, already i have trained more than maybe on an average fine more than 20000 students is what i have trained from past 5.8 or 5.9 years approximately 6 years more than 20000 students i have trained and offline also i have trained online also i have trained and i know the mentality of the student maybe if i am a student i know my mentality fine how exactly my mind will be there that's the reason one thing you people should do fine as based upon my experience i'm telling please attend the class from laptop for better experience and better or good you should not be that means you should not use any headphone or headset why because if i'm taking the class for one hour also it might be harmful for a longer duration that's the reason don't have that habit maybe you just you will be having a separate room right maybe if you have that's fine you just lock the door so that you just listen to my voice properly maybe if you don't have any option if there is any background disturbance then you can just use headphone or headset this is the first requirement second one in between the class don't write anything i know many people will be having this habit bad habit i'll just call it as a bad habit guys in between the class please don't write anything guys don't you think after the class i'll be giving this particular file yes or no after the class i'll be giving this file you just tell me yes or no correct right 100 percent i'll just give this file later you please write in between the class guys only one hour is what i'll be taking right in that one hour simply you have to see the movie that's it you have to observe the movie Guys, why a movie will make an impact? Let me tell you why a movie will make a huge impact. Guys, don't you think if you watch the movie, at least that movie, scene to scene, fine, dialogue, all the dialogues will be there in your mind for at least one week, worst case, yes or no? If you watch the movie, at least some important scenes, some important dialogues will be there in your mind for one, uh, for one week. And you will remember that particular story for one month or two months or six months or one year you might remember. Right, right? How? It's only because complete three hours you will be concentrating and you will be listening and you will be watching. You will not write anything. Anybody in the class, will you uh, take a sheet of paper and uh, a pen? Uh, will you write something in the theater? No, right? 100% will not write. Because that's the reason you should cultivate this habit. Fine. First, listen properly. Listen properly. Later, soon after the class, the notes will be available. Then you write whatever is there in the notes or according to your language or your handwriting maybe you can just write later please practice the program whatever that i have uh, taught in the class that's very important simply if you attend a class yes even i have a, a mac laptop or even i have a, a very good laptop which cost 1.5 lakh 2 lakh or even i'll write the notes with different different color pens that that's not the ultimate aim this is very important practice 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 if you tell me to teach Java or if you tell me to teach C programming language or if you tell me to teach Python or you tell me any programming language that I'm aware, I will be teaching in the same manner. Same manner means content oriented. Maybe if you are my previous batch student or if you are my student and uh, you, you can notice, correct, right? Maybe you might be thinking how this fellow will teach everything flawlessly. It's only because of these things. The highlighted part. Practice, practice, practice. And Whenever I'm learning something, I'll write. Is that fine? Guys, still today, if you ask me, I haven't watched uh, more than one hour video in my mobile phone. No, I haven't, I haven't watched. Usually, if the video is more than one hour, it might be learning related or it might be movie. I'll go with my laptop. Fine. Why? Because uh, if you are attending the class from mobile phone, Instagram notification will come. I know everybody are there in Instagram. Uh, WhatsApp notification come will come. That's the reason it's very disturbing. Okay, let me just uh, continue with the session. Next, doc type you understood. 
HTML tag you understood. Next, head tag, head tag. Head tag already I have told. What is this head tag? Head element is a container for all the metadata placed within. That means this head tag should be placed within HTML above the body. Is that fine? It should be placed within HTML above the body or inside the body. Is that fine? Please do respond. Is that fine? Is that clear for everyone? Okay, and you have to make sure that you will be closing that header tag above body. Inside HTML, above the body section. That means I'll just write the point so that you'll understand. So yeah, the head element or tag, whatever you want, you can just call that up to your wish. The head element is a container for metadata and it is placed between the HTML tag and the body tag. Between the HTML tag and above body tag, above body tag. Is that fine? Okay, next what, sir? Next. Metadata means what? If you ask me, it's just a data. It's just a data about the HTML document. Guys, metadata means please don't think something at all. It's just a data about the HTML document, like title, character set, style, script, and other information. That's it. Uh, for example, uh, some of the uh, element that you can use inside head, title, you can tell, style, you can tell, base, you can tell, link, you can tell, meta, you can tell, script, you can tell, no script, you can tell. Like there's so many things are there. Maybe going ahead, you'll understand. But right now, just for your reference, I have just uh, listed on all those things here. Metadata is a data, is a data about the HTML document. Metadata typically defines the document's title, the document's title, character set, styles, scripts, and other some information. The following elements, whatever I have written, can easily fit inside the head element or head tag. Uh, we can define title, style, base, link, meta, all those things you'll understand in the upcoming session. Once I start the actual uh, HTML files. Next, body tag. It's a pretty simple. Fine, if somebody is asking what is body tag, your answer should be a body tag defines the document's body, whatever the document that you want to create, right? For example, the document might consist of, uh, or the body tag might consist of uh, a heading, paragraph, image, link, hyperlink, tables, lists. Like there's so many things are there, fine. All those things you have to place inside a body tag. Inside a body tag is what you have to place. See here, body tag, body tag. The body tag defines the document's body, whatever you're going to create. The body element contains, con consists of or contains all the content of the external document, such as heading, paragraph. So how to create a heading, sir? How to create a, create a paragraph, sir? How to create an image, sir? How to create a hyperlink? How to create a table, list? Everything I'll take here, going ahead. And one more thing, very important. There can only be one body element in the HTML document. Sir, what if I take two, sir? Don't worry, I'll show the software also in future. But as of now, try to understand there should be only one body element. Is that clear? Okay, next. Sir, what is this title tag, sir? I said it is pretty simple. The title tag or element, it defines a title in the browser toolbar. And it provides a title for the page when it is added to favorite. Guys, you know how to uh, make the page as favorite? Yes or no? I hope uh, many of them uh, would have made some of the uh, websites as favorite. Correct, right? Yes or no? I mean, if you frequently use that particular website, you'll make it as a favorite, right? Uh, if, if not, maybe I'll show it to you. <laughs> Don't worry. I hope uh, you people would have done www.studyonlinetech.com as a favorite. <laughs> okay, great. Next, it will display a title for the pages in search engine result. That means, see here, title, title element. It defines a title in the browser toolbar. That's the first one. Next, it will provide a title for the page when it is added to the favorite or if you bookmark that also, and it will just display a title for the page in the search engine result. This is the main importance of title tag. Let me just cut it. Let me just write it here. Yep. Uh, next, listen. The title tag defines the title of the document and it must be a text only. Fine. You can just do number, no issues. But better always have a text. Is that fine? And it is not compulsory to have a title tag, but better you give a title. Why? Because everybody is having a name, right? Like that for every individual HTML page. Let's give her some name. Fine. Uh, is that clear, guys? 
as why this is title is very important if you ask me search engine optimization seo what is this i will tell you fine some algorithms will be written in order to search your web page for that this particular title is very important if you haven't given the proper title then search engine cannot search that's the reason every page you take Let, let's uh, show it to you just a minute uh, i'll just do one thing i'll just go back to the browser okay i hope you people are able to see the browser here what i'll just tell book my shows here i'll just tell book my show i will tell if i press enter you have to observe you have to observe the title guys don't you think i got the title as h movie tickets comma place comma sports comma event that is was the title of this page yes or no that is what the title similarly if i click on movies if i click on movies look at the title bangalore movie tickets online the title got changed are you getting my point and next if i click on some movie for example uh, which movie okay let's do one thing let's uh, click on this movie simply i'm just clicking some random movie yep uh, don't you think the title has been changed see here the movie name happens to be gauli uh, 2020 something like that don't you think the total is, the, the title has been changed from every page to page that's correct right have you observed that okay why this is important you'll understand but as of now please have these things at the back of your mind title is very important when it comes to search engine seo same thing whatever i told i have written in the term, in uh, in terms of points that's it now you understood about doc type you understood about uh, html you understood about head tag you understood about body tag you understood about title tag after title tag what is there sir uh, have you seen this let's see how many of them will take will say yes have you seen this in the yesterday's session have you seen in the yesterday's class have you seen this yes or no 100% yes don't you think you have seen this i don't know rabishay can clear your doubt because i hope uh, you can see the screen right okay uh, yesterday in the one of the html file i think in the first html file only i have written but it is not compulsory sir what does this indicate sir every time we'll see all these things sir but we'll not understand why it is used what is the exact uh, usage of this particular meta meta means just information fine meta means it's just information whatever you'll be writing sir what is this car set sir and what is utf8 sir as that means it is pretty simple listen the car set attribute specifies the character encoding for the html document that means whatever the uh, document whatever the code that you write it will be encoded or the particular character will be encoded in the future purpose and a very important thing the html5 specification it will encourage the web developers to use a uh, use uh, htf8 character set which covers almost all the characters as well as symbols you can use any character any symbol in the world is that fine as have you heard about ascii character have you heard about ascii character similar to that if you are specifying utf8 inside char set then you can use any character and symbol that is there in the world is that fine that will be within the html file that is the reason we will specify this that's it i hope now you people are getting some clarity as if you tell like this whatever the characters or symbols that is there in the world everything you can use within the html file every character every symbol uh, is that clear guys please do respond okay this is what the syntax of that char set is just a variable name which will be holding the data utf iphone 8 utf iphone 8 it is just a a character set which covers almost all the characters and symbols in the world that's it it's just a name char set is just a name and compulsory we have to take char set only uh, next what sir uh, next html meta tag html meta tag why this html meta tag is used if you ask me i think in the yesterday's session first example only i have taken yeah you can you can some of them are asking sir can we use uh, utf other format yeah you can use but 
basically if it is html5 version we will be using utf8 is that clear please do respond yeah you can use it. guys like utf8 there are many other thing but better to go with utf8 why because it covers all the characters and symbols that are there in the world and next html meta tag sir what is this html meta tag sir many of the time uh, within the head section we will be writing this meta tag sir what does this indicate sir first of all i'll take the example whatever i have taken in the yesterday's class don't you think in the yesterday's class within the header tag i have written meta characters it is equal to utf8 and it is not compulsory that you have to write lower case utf upper case in any whatever you want you can just write fine next uh, which file has generated sublime text i will tell and free html tutorials is the description keyword html css javascript bootstrap uh, author who is the author fine and viewport uh, in which width you want to view that what is the initial uh, scale that means maybe if you neglect this also that's fine that means the complete information will be written using a tag called as meta tag using a tag called as meta tag will be giving some information that's it uh, now i would like to write uh, what is the importance of meta tag the meta tag defines metadata metadata means information is that fine it defines some information about uh, the html file that's it so here the meta tag defines the metadata about an html document metadata is nothing but the data about metadata is a data about the html file about the html file that's it uh, next observe meta tag always always this compulsory no one i'm telling always this meta tag has to be inside head element head element and are typically used to specify some character set page description keyword author viewport some settings that's it uh, you can't use wherever you want always it should be used within head is that fine okay i'll just tell this is uh, data about the data sorry whatever the data that is there right about the data only it will just tell that that's the name of the metadata whatever the data that is there right if it is telling the data about the data then it is called as metadata you can just tell data about whatever it may be yeah it's for developer reference yes it's yes correct or uh, whatever you people are saying is correct it's for developer ref uh, reference uh, next observe metadata will not be displayed on the page that means on the browser it will it will not be displayed but if somebody wants to wish to see that particular metadata they can see that that means it's machine parsable machine parsable means we, we can fetch the data we can fetch that is that fine metadata is used by browsers that means how to display the content or reload the page uh, search engines for that such search engines or web services and it, it's a method to let the web designers take the control over the viewport fine i think it's uh, too early to introduce what exactly the meaning of viewport going ahead you'll understand what is viewport and all that's the reason i have purposefully removed uh, what is that particular viewport okay somebody is asking sir uh, uh, see here you need not to close this metadata maybe if you just tell like this automatically it will be closed is that clear guys please do respond somebody is asking sir like how we have opened the header tag closed you need not to close fine if you enclose that within this particular angle of braces it will be closed is that fine okay now i'll be writing some another two points with respect to metadata observe metadata will not be displayed on the page but you can fetch the metadata from the browser and metadata is only used by browsers search engines and other web services and there is a method to let the web designers to take the control over the viewport what is that i tell you fine now you people are learning what is metadata if i tell what is viewport what is that scale why we have to use you will not understand but please make sure that metadata basically it will be used for defining some information or giving some information that's it if you remember that there is more than sufficient as of now okay now tell me guys did you get 20% of clarity about general syntax of html page in the yesterday session i have written some html page at least did you get some 20% clarity i'm not asking 100% going ahead you'll understand no one can teach 100% in a single uh, session but i hope 20% clarity you got what is head tag 
what is HTML tag? Why we have to use that? What is doc a doc type HTML? Why we have to use that? And what is title? Okay, great. Now let's do one thing. Let's do one thing. Let's start with the content. Let's start with the content. Uh, boiler code, I'll tell you. Uh, don't worry, 100%. Again, uh, I'll be taking the particular title. Then you'll understand that book my show example, whatever I have taken. That means from page to page, the title will vary. That's it. Okay. Uh, now, the first topic happens to be tags. First topic happens to be tags. What are tags? Already I told you, I'll give you the clarity. But as of now, as there are two attributes that will define when it comes to HTML in the, in the yesterday's session, I have told there are two attributes that will define which are those two attributes. Could people uh, uh, ping in the chat box? Two attributes that will define HTML. What is that? The complete control, the complete control. No, no, no. I'm not asking uh, HTML structure. Fine. Inside a HTML file, I'm asking the oh, guys head body. That's fine. Head and body is a component. Head and body is a component. Fine. There are two things where it will specify the control, all those things. Which are those? In the yesterday session, clearly I have told. Guys, these are what I can tell components or structure of HTML. But inside HTML, once you start write HTML code, I know you'll be using head tag, I know you'll be using body tag. But don't you think tags and attributes are very important? Yes or no? Tags and attributes are very important. In that, first I'll teach tag. I am not taking the heading as tag. Why well, you will understand? I'll just take the heading as uh, heading tags. Heading tags. Totally in HTML, there are totally six heading tags. How many heading tags are there? That's how many heading tags are there? Just now I told. Totally there are six heading tags in the HTML. Sir, how to write those heading tags sir, or header tag, heading tag, whatever you want, you can just tell. Sir, how to write, sir? It's pretty simple, guys. It's pretty simple. This is how we have to write H1, H1 for heading, H2, heading, H3. Sir, why, sir? Why there is a name H1, H2, H3, H4, sir? Uh, for high importance. Guys, you tell me. Uh, yeah. Study online. Fine. Study online. I want to display these things on the browser, something like that. Study online. Uh, next, front end course, front end course. Assume that I want to display this. Imagine, imagine I want to display this front end course. Next, uh, by Sandesh, by Sandesh, by Sandesh, HS. Uh, time happens, something like that, maybe like that. Fine. No, don't you think this should be in the very big letter? Yes or no? I don't know whether people observed or not. Usually, whenever I'm writing something on the whiteboard, don't you think I'll write study on in a very big letter, a front end course in very medium letter, Sandesh in a very minimal, something like that. If something has to be written in a very big font, then always we'll go for H1. If you want to write some heading, it should be a heading, but it will be having some least importance. Then we'll go for H6. From H1, it will start till H6. According to the size, you can just use. Is that fine? Don't worry. I'll, I'll just show you the size of H1. I'll just show you the size of H2, H3, H4, H5, H6. Based upon your requirement, you can just use whichever the header tag that you want. So first, take the example, sir. Then we'll understand, sir. Uh, first, observe properly. Uh, I think it's example number three dot HTML, right? If I'm not wrong. I say, sir, no. I think it's example number three, right? Okay, let me just do one thing. Let me just go back to the sublime text, new file. Guys, many of them I have seen. I don't know uh, whether they are really interested in uh, getting a job in the IT industry or not. Fine. Simply they will take the code. Fine, they'll take the code. And they will just, uh, yesterday I have seen uh, uh, one person pinging me in the chat. What he has done, he has typed uh, this particular code. He has typed this particular code. And what he has done, sir, I'm not able to execute, sir. Uh, if I go to this particular uh, folder, it is not coming, sir. Sir, if I go here, for you, it is showing example number three, sir. It's two, sir. But it is not coming for me, sir. 
as you tell me without saving do you think that will be there in your uh, machine that is laptop without you saving the code that's 100% no i think these are some minute things that you should take care and one more very important thing while saving the file please give any name but don't type double dot 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 and all is that fine how whatever the dot that you want please don't type and at, at least god has given some uh, common sense please do use dot instead of dot i know you will be using comma dot html then you will uh, send a particular image uh, to me and you see you will be saying like sir for me it's not working for you it is working uh, some magic you have done in your laptop no nothing everything is a logic not a magic fine some amount of common sense you should be having i am not saying you to understand everything but at least some amount of knowledge to become an engineer <laughs> that's very important is that clear a dot html is what i have given now if i say now observe now observe there is a file called as uh, example number 3 dot html maybe if you just double click on that how many of them are able to understand how heading 1 or what is the size of the heading 1 how it will be displayed heading 2 heading 3 heading 4 heading 5 heading 6 is that clear yes please do respond sir i want this particular heading one to be in the middle sir all those things later we will see you don't worry about that how to uh, make sure that this particular heading one or whatever the text that we have displayed as why it is telling heading one i think one person is asking sir why why heading one why not uh, you tell heading one sandesh it will display heading one sandesh see here if you go to browser and if you just refresh see here heading one sandesh something like that whatever you want you can just display that's pure love to you is that clear guys i hope you understood the uh, whole concept whatever i'm trying to change uh, how you can change the font that also i will tell don't worry now let me just do one thing let me just copy this i'll just do one thing i would like to go back to the notes okay inside notes i'll just tell example number 3 dot html okay i'll paste it so what about output sir uh, you people should write you people should write the diagram number 1 sir what is diagram number 1 sir uh, don't worry i'll show you the diagram number 1 mm, where is the browser yeah could you people write like this yes or no what you should do if you ask me put some box and write this can you write it as please do respond can you write it and don't try to measure what is the dimension at all just write according to you, uh, your understanding is that fine okay just do one thing take the screenshot of diagram number 1 whatever i have written within the red box that is only diagram number 1 uh, you people should write this diagram i hope that you have taken the screenshot of diagram number 1 if not you just execute and you just write the output in your uh, notes okay uh, next next observe i'll continue let me just take one more example so that you will get even more clarity i don't know whether you people observed or not did i use html did i use html tag as you tell me did i use html tag no did i use head tag no did i use body tag no did i use title tag no Now that is the reason that is the reason if you look at the browser if you look at the browser see here if you look whatever the file name that i have given same file name only has been converted into the title tag yes or no whatever the file name that i have given same file name has been converted as a title example number 3.htm something like that correct right but if you see the source code sir how to see the source code sir click on right click see here as so always whenever you want to see the html code or whatever the front end code right click inspect are you people able to see the html already internal it is there html tag is there head tag is there body tag is there do you think this h1 h2 h3 h4 h5 h6 whatever i have written automatically it has taken within the body yes or no automatically it has taken within the body i hope you people are able to see but there is not a good approach to write the logic no one i'm telling maybe just for your reference i have just shown there is not a good approach to write the code always use the html tag title tag body tag okay now one more example i will take 
let's see how many of them will understand mm, let's do one thing okay a proper html file is what i'll create a proper html file sir what sir something you have entered but automatically everything came for you sir uh in monday's class i'll teach you how to get the shortcut i mean if you also if you searching google you will understand <laughs> yes everything is there in google and youtube fine uh, you need not to wait until uh, me to teach in the class all these things how i have learned nobody taught me fine i have just done my uh, research in some google and youtube is that fine you can just do your research some package needs to be installed and uh, that's it okay just check it out 100% you will also get to know i'll just tell the title happens to be title happens to be i'll just tell uh, title happens to be heading tax something like that i'll just write because i just want the heading right i'll just tell heading tax is the title and inside the body i'll just write the logic okay sir what logic you will write sir okay how many of them are able to observe within h1 i have written study online sandesh it's something like that and i don't know whether you people observed or not uh heading one heading to whatever i have written don't you think by default one space is given i don't know whether you have observed or not see if you observe the browser by default one small space is given left side heading one space is there correct right is it so no left side of the h one space is there uh, by default it will give by default it will give uh, that you people should be aware no one am telling sir what sir some small space also matter sir if you are developing a front end or u ui user interface some small space also matters a lot that's the reason uh, now study on the within h1 tag i have done sandesh within h3 tag i have done i'll just save example number 4.html i written uh, somebody was asking sir can we store using dot capital html sir can we store you please do let me know can we store i'm asking you people 100% 100% we can store see here dot capital html you you can you can store but better you just store within the lower case that that's what we will follow in the industry okay if you open that see here study online h1 tag that's the reason bada sandesh it is maybe h3 tag i have used i have used now you might be having the doubt sir h1 h2 h3 h4 everything is fine sir can we use h7 sir i know many of them might be having this doubt yes or no you might be you might be having the doubt right uh, if you people are using h7 it will lead to error or it won't lead to error you think an answer I assume that if somebody might be asking as a technical mcq in the interview if if you tell h7 will it lead to error or will you get the output do you think it will lead to error or will you get the output i don't know whether you have tried or not uh, if i say if i go back to the browser if i refresh see here don't you think it has taken as a normal text normal text it has taken we will get the output as a normal text no heading no bold no bold character that's it a normal text is what it will consider uh, is that clear guys please do respond and one more doubt you might be having sir after learning this course will become front end developer sir that's the reason i just do one thing within h1 tag you please write front end developer sir study online students i'll just write front end developers okay you can just give some space however you want if i save you know how the things will be displayed I mean, if i save if i just go back to the browser observe if i go back to the browser yep if i refresh a study online students front end developer something like that it is getting displayed now observe sir can i increase the size sir you can increase the size you can a default size will be there you can increase the size sir how can i increase the size sir uh, for that you have to use style what you have to use guys you have to use one attribute within the tag you have to use an attribute called a style attribute within the tag h1 tag is that fine uh, how many pixels you want that's what you have to represent that's what you have to tell 
and always the attributes should be enclosed within where exactly you have started the tag. See here, here after h1, you please tell like this style equal to font size. There will be some default font size for h1, h1 tag, but I want 80 pixel. I want 80 pixel. Like this only you have to tell within double quotes. Fine. Yeah, you can give, you can give h1, h2, h3. Yeah, you can use no issues. Anything, anything you can use. If I say no issues, if I go back to the browser and if I refresh, see here, study online students, front end developer. I think it's a very huge. That's the reason. Uh, let me just uh, reduce the font size. I don't want this font size this much big. Uh, 45 pixel, I will tell. If I save, if I go back to the browser, I think now it's fine. Is that clear, guys? Please do respond. Are you able to understand how to increase the font size of a header tag or heading tag? Okay, one person is asking, sir, same thing. Can I use H2 tag? And you, yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. Who told? If you use H2 tag also, same thing will come. Well, because ultimately you're using style attribute, right? Style attribute. Assume that you want to become a, a backend developer. Backend developer. If you save, if you go back to browser, refresh, same. Is that clear? Same, same font size. I hope you people are able to understand. Guys, please do let me know. Are you able to understand whatever I'm trying to teach? Okay, now from now onwards, what I will do? Simply I'll write output. Simply I'll write output. I'll not write anything. Guys, why? Because uh, it's impossible for me to uh, copy that and paste. Why? Because every font will look same in that uh, notepad. Correct, right? Guys, if you are having some individual question, 100% at the end of the session, I'll uh, tell you, or you can just ping me in the uh, WhatsApp, whatever it may be, I'll just respond. Uh, in between the class, maybe if I halt the technical discussion just to clarify your doubt for uh, five minutes or 10 minutes, again, it, it might be a waste of time for other people. That's the reason. Is that clear? Maybe at the end of the session, if you have any doubts, maybe write it in a sheet of paper or remember that. You can just ask that at the last by saying, sir, I have few doubts. Or you can just ping me in the chat or directly you can just give me a call. Okay. Example number four dot HTML and capital letter is what I have taken. Example number four dot HTML. Yes, uh, yes or no? Uh, in our college days, 100% uh, 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 few people might got irritated because of this correct rate. If a toppers are asking uh, doubts in between the class, don't you think the class will be extended? At that point of time, we will scold them. <laughs> Correct, right? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Fine. Uh, it's good that you have to ask the doubt, but you should not interrupt someone who is going in the flow. At the last 100%, you should ask them. You should not leave. But it should not, dis it should not be a disturbing for others. That that's my intention. Okay, please don't feel bad. If I'm not uh, uh, giving uh, some time for interacting. I wish for it, it's just a online class. <laughs> That's the reason you can do whatever you want. <laughs> Great. Guys, uh, I will write output. After executing the program, will you write the output? Will you write the output by putting some box like that itself? Don't try to match like that. Uh, so why capital letter is there? I'm just showing you can take capital HTML or small HTML, however you want, that's it. Okay, uh, next, please do observe properly. Please do observe. I'll just go to the notes. Let me just uh, continue. After heading tag, after heading tag, next one happens to be paragraph tag. Next one happens to be paragraph tag. So something you have to answer here, each HTML heading has a default size. However, you can specify the size of uh, any heading with a style attribute using some CSS font size property. You can just use and you can just tell that. Is that fine? Okay, that also I have shown. Uh, next what 
yeah html paragraph like how you have seen heading tag like that we have a paragraph tag okay sir how does the paragraph tag will look like sir this is how a paragraph tag will look like p that's it for header tag h1 h2 h3 h4 h5 h6 for paragraph p opening of paragraph tag closing of paragraph tag is that fine a paragraph always starts from a new line and browser automatically adds some white space before starting of a paragraph and that part also i forgot to give in the this one uh, what heading tag because there will be on default space there will be on default space a browser automatically adds some white space a margin before and after the heading there will be some small space fine before and after the heading that one also you should understand now paragraph tag example i will take let me just do one thing i would like to go back to the sublime text example number 5.py example number 5.py okay now what i'll do i'll just take the example so that you'll be able to understand in a very better manner please tell me oh sorry <laughs> i'm really sorry i'm really sorry i'm really sorry it's my bad usually this is what happens for me okay save as uh, example number py.html so if python is there in my subconscious memory why because uh, i'm a python developer fine basically <laughs> on a daily basis so uh, 8 to 10 hours at least apart from class i'll be writing the python code that's the reason <laughs> automatically those things will come please don't mind i haven't done purposefully yep are you people able to understand uh, whatever i have written study on is the h1 tag paragraph tag maybe i just want some paragraph knowledge is power so believe in your knowledge that's what some paragraph fine uh, within the body only you have to write the paragraph tag now if i save no issues if i go back to the uh, folder where is that yep if i double click on HTML example five dot HTML. Maybe you can just observe the output here. Study online. Knowledge is power. So believe in your knowledge. Something like that. Some paragraph. Is that clear, guys? Please do respond. Some other examples I'll take so that you'll be able to understand in a very better manner. Example six dot HTML. Example six dot HTML. Uh, when it comes to example six dot HTML. Okay. Uh, let's see how many of them will tell the answer for this. Okay, I have just opened the paragraph tag and I have written this is first line, this is second line, this is third line, this is fourth line. So some, some, some line, some English text is what I have written and I have closed paragraph tag here. Do you think I'll get one after the other or in a single line I'll get? What do you think? In a single line or one after the other? Think and answer. Just, just give a try. <laughs> do you think one after the other like this only it will come or in a single line it will come? 100% it will be displayed in a single line observe if i go back to the folder if i double click on example number six not a thing in a single line it got displayed this is first line this is second line this is third line this is fourth line uh, now will you write the output as no one i'm telling i'm not writing the output simply i leave as a blank in the notes i leave it as a blank you people should practice in your laptop then you should write the output in your notes if you do that 100 percent your html notes will look like bible after a couple of months whenever you are uh, preparing for your interviews. Is that fine? If you don't write the notes, trust me, it would be very difficult. Now I'm telling. Okay, now I'll just consider uh, example number 5.html. Example number 6.html. I think it's example number uh, 4, 5. Uh, where is that example number okay i'll just copy this and this is the bad approach of writing the code without creating html without creating head without creating body it's a bad approach but just for your uh, teaching purpose right that's the reason i have just taken so then what is the good approach sir? like this you should write is that clear for everyone please do respond as output i'm just leaving some space so that i will assume that you people will write the output but i don't know whether people will write the output or not I would recommend you to write the output. Okay, next. Let's do one thing. Let's go to 
another two examples so that we can just wind up the class. Is that clear for everyone? Please do respond. Okay. Example number seven dot HTML. Example number seven dot HTML. I think this is also pretty simple. Uh, some of them are asking, sir, can we increase the font size of paragraph tag? Can you do that? Can you do that? 100% you can do that. Same thing, whatever you have done in case of uh, heading tag, same thing. Here also you can do it. And sir, I want uh, first line to be considered as a first line, second line to be considered as a second line in the paragraph, sir. One below the other I want, sir. If you want one below the other, there is only one way. Open the paragraph close the paragraph, open the paragraph, close the paragraph. Now one below the other, it will come. Next, if you want to increase the font size of paragraph tag, 100% you can do that by using the same old methodologies here. Style is equal to font size. How many pixels you want, you can just keep. And that too within this particular tag only you should tell. Don't tell here. Don't tell here. Here only you should tell. Is that fine? I hope the people are able to understand. Are you able to understand guys? Okay, I'll save this. I'll save this. I would like to go back to the folder. HTML 7, there is example 7.html. See here, first line, second line, third line, fourth line. This is fifth line. Don't you think the font size has been uh, increased? The font size has been increased. How, how the font size has been increased? Why? Well, because clearly I have told, please increase the font size to 30 pixel. I know default pixel will be there, but Increase the font size. I see the previous example, what we have done, only one paragraph is what I have used. That's the reason a single line, all the output got displayed. But I don't want all the output to be displayed on a single line. I want one after the other. That's the reason. Open the tag, close the tag. Open the tag, close the tag. That's it. I don't know. I'll, I'll tell you regarding the other tag, whatever you're telling Chinmai, I'll tell you. One by one, one by one, we'll uh, see that. Uh, next, one more example I will take. Example number eight dot HTML. Okay, please do let me know uh, whether people are able to see it or not. Okay, let's see. Two paragraph tag is what I have taken. So some English uh, letters is what I have written. Sir, what you have written, sir? Uh, this paragraph con contains a lot of lines in the source code, but the browser ignores it. Something like that I have taken. Don't you think all these things will come in a single line? Yes or no? This paragraph contains a lot of lines in the source code comma, but the browser ignores it. In a single line, it will come. Similarly, if there is a space between the words, how will get the output? If you ask me, same thing. It will ignore the space. It will ignore the space. This space will be considered, but the bada space will be ignored. Observe, observe the output so that you'll understand. Is that clear for everyone? Please do respond. I want you people to respond. Copy this. Now wait, day three is open multiple times. Okay, yep. Uh, I think it's uh, example number eight dot HTML. Example number eight dot HTML, paste it. Example number seven dot HTML. Uh, that one also will paste. Wait a minute, where is that? Yep. Example number seven, paste it. Output as normal, you people should write. You should execute the program, then you should write out. Simply you also don't write output and leave it as blank. I'll tell you Deepak, 100% will clear your doubt. Or can we use BR? I'll tell you what is the difference between all those things. Example number nine dot HTML. Yes, whatever the tags that are there in HTML, every tag will be thought in the class. Is that fine? Every tag. I'll not leave a single tag. Is that fine? Okay. Now, now, what is the output of this? Please, can you take a guess? What would be the output of this? Can you take a guess? So is it possible to have a one paragraph tag closure in a single line? Again, open, write something, close. Again, open, write something, close. In a single line, it will come or one below the other, it will come. Just think, just think. Just take a guess. 
all those things you have to just take a guess because <laughs> ultimately you might have written one after the other but the paragraph tag has been opened closed opened closed that means one line it will give that means the control will go to next line whenever you close the paragraph tag that is what will happen that is what i have told us here if you close the paragraph tag control goes to next line control goes to next line is that clear the next example number 10 dot html example number 10 i think this is also pretty simple that's whatever i'm teaching you might feel like uh, it is very easy but you have to understand <laughs> okay can you take a guess of this output already you, you know right this is first line below that only this is second line even though you have given some space while writing the code it doesn't matter don't you think below that only it will come this is first line below that this is second line below that third line fourth line something like that yes or no as i hope you can imagine the output if not just increase your imagination skills that's it okay now what i'll do i'll just do one thing i'll just uh, go to the folder yeah example number 10 i hope you are able to understand that's all this output you people should write okay next i think last example maybe or because similar kind of examples that i just want to wind up uh, a paragraph tag today itself i don't want to continue that for tomorrow there's one more thing uh, if you're from python background then you'll understand if you're from python background then you'll understand uh, we don't have any concept of indentation in html is that clear for everyone uh, we don't have any concept called as uh, indentation is that fine i think someone is saying sir time's up okay fine i'll stick on to your watch itself okay i'll just paste the uh, code here whatever i have written then i can just wind up is that clear don't worry, I'll not go with the next example. Okay. Example number nine dot HTML. Uh, meanwhile, I'll uh, paste whatever that is there in the sublime text to the notes. Meanwhile, you just do one thing. Uh, wait a minute. Okay. Already somebody, some of them would have given the attendance at the starting. Remaining people. Could you please give your attendance uh wait yes i have just sent a link in the chat click on that link please provide your attendance meanwhile i'll just uh, copy paste the code example number 10 dot html that's output you should write i hope you will write okay where is example number nine Example number 10. Yep. Example number nine. Yep. Okay. Great. Yes, are people uh, getting the mail regarding the class timings? Are you getting a mail? I hope yes, right? For your registered mail ID, I hope you're getting a mail and you are getting a notification one hour before the class, if I'm not wrong. And you're getting a WhatsApp notification as well. If you're not getting a mail, that means you haven't checked your mail or you haven't given the proper mail ID for registration. Uh, if you are not getting a mail, just do one thing. Just please ping your proper mail ID for my WhatsApp so that I can just change your mail ID. Uh, <laughs> yes, you tell me. Uh, so many of the people uh, will be thinking, this fellow is not uh, sending a broadcast message. Fine, guys. If it is a broadcast message, uh, uh, you will get to know, right? Yes or no? If it is a broadcast message, you will get to know broadcast message. But don't you think you are getting an individual message? You are getting an individual message. Uh, do you think I am sending an individual message by opening uh, WhatsApp? Do you think I, I have a time for that? <laughs> I have the time only for one click. That's it. Automatically. No, it's not a bot. It's not a bot. It's just a code that I have written using a beautiful automation tool called a selenium it's automation tool it's an in-demand testing automation tool yeah i have developed that's it it's, it's not a very big deal fine and uh, in excel your uh, mail id will be there your phone number will be there your name will be there and i have just integrated i have just written the code once and every time if i just click on that uh, whatsapp web is there and for mail also it will trigger automatically that's it <laughs> Okay, I hope you have given your attendance, right? Have you given your attendance? Please do respond.
Okay, still I can't see many people who are not given the attendance. Please do provide your attendance. Attendance link. Okay, oh, link is not there. Where is that link? Attendance link. Wait a minute. I think somebody is asking the attendance link. Wait, wait, wait. Let me just. Uh, I don't get exited from the session because uh, I'll tell you what is the. Okay. At least have you kept a 200 pages unrolled long notebook? Yes or no in the chat box. Have you kept? Guys, for that, don't ask the money from me. Fine. Sir, anyhow, the course is free of course, sir. Uh, please do phone pay 50 rupees, 100 rupees, sir, so that I can just purchase a book. Uh, please don't ask like that. <laughs> Okay, uh, please write the notes for your beneficial online telling. Please write the notes, not the proper notes. Uh, guys, I hope you have attended uh, three days of online class, right? I hope you have attended three days of online class. Are you facing any issues? Are you facing any issues? Maybe network issues? I can't, uh, <laughs> I, I can't answer for that. Right? Maybe you have to get a proper Wi-Fi or proper network. But apart from that, I hope when it comes to teaching, I hope you're enjoying the session as well as you're able to understand whatever I'm teaching. That's very important. Yes or no? Because when I interacted with uh, many college faculties, fine, it might be a HOD, it might be a principal, uh, fine. What they told, uh, Sandesh, it would be very difficult to uh, make the students to sit for the online class. It's very difficult to make them understand the content in the online class. Uh, straight away, I told them, uh, it's about the content. It's about their interest. The, the so initial two to three days, it's about their interest. They have to attend the class. But don't you think from tomorrow, from fourth day, if students wants to attend, if the trainer is doing his job properly, 100% they will attend. If not, they will not attend. Correct, right? It's it's a reality. It's a vice versa. Yes, yes or no? If I am doing properly, then tomorrow I will attend. If not from tomorrow onwards, you will never attend. I know that. Correct, right? And one more thing, I'll agree with the point. Offline is somewhat much effective when, when compared to uh, online. Why? Because you people will be there in front of us. You cannot escape. You cannot open your mobile phone. You'll be there in front of us. Whatever we will tell you, you have to do it. Even we are doing uh, the teaching properly or not. <laughs> That's what happened in so many college classes. And uh, just please tell me, when it comes to speed, I hope I'm going in a medium speed. I'm not too fast. I'm not too slow. I'm going in a medium speed. Uh, you you can't tell like uh, uh, sir i don't like your voice sir you have a bass voice uh, i don't like the way you talk all those things i cannot change <laughs> uh, please do forgive me no one i'm telling if you're not liking my voice that's not my mistake <laughs> nothing can be done i cannot i cannot use some uh, what i can tell voice changing machine and all i think till now I hope you people are able to enjoy and understand. Okay, if there is any issues that you're facing, please do let me know in WhatsApp. That's one thing always I'll tell for my students or friends, fine. I'll treat you as my friends with some terms and condition. <laughs> uh, please open up. Open up means whatever you have in your mind, fine. Uh, just reach out to me. Either you just give me a call. Either you just uh, ping me in WhatsApp. Sometimes I, I might not respond suddenly. Fine. I'll not be having my mobile phone 24 bar 7. Or sometimes I might uh, not see WhatsApp or Instagram for a couple of days, but 100% I'll respond. Uh, some of them are telling, uh, sir, coding is difficult. There's nothing is difficult in this world. Nothing is easy in this world. Everything comes with a practice. Everything comes with a practice. That's it. A practice and a proper guidance. Okay. Tomorrow at what time we'll meet? Tomorrow as normal. Actually, I thought of, uh, yeah, I speak in, okay. Uh, some people are asking, sir, what is your mother tongue? Uh, my mother tongue is Kannada, fine. But when it comes to class, I'll speak in English itself, because everybody should understand. But if you're speaking in Telugu, if you're speaking in Tamil, Hindi, I can understand. No issues. If you want to give a call and if you want to ask some doubts in whichever the language you want, you can just ask. So more, tomorrow, same time, 7 p.m., 7 p.m., uh, even though I'm having some important uh, celebration, I'm taking the class. 
actually I thought of canceling the class, but anyhow, it's just for one hour, right? That's the reason. Is that clear, guys? Tomorrow, exact 7 p.m. I'll start. 8 p.m. I'll wind up. If not, my friends will not leave. Okay. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Tomorrow we'll meet. Okay. Bye-bye.